Well, I can still remember that first year, looking to the right and looking to the left and seeing how steep and rugged these hills were. You have to be ready both physically and mentally to get through these hills and then to be able to make it happen when that moment of truth finally gets here. This episode of the ODTV is brought to you by the new specially designed, lightweight and durable Tenzing Hangtime Day Pack. Go further, hunt longer, Tenzing. Well, good morning. It is September 8th today, and it's our first day of going up in the mountain. Bow Madness veteran Dave Kramer is back in Wyoming at Jenkins Hunting Camp. While finding success years ago, they have been in a drought but that hasn't stopped them from trying to achieve the rush of harvesting a bugling elk. Ted's got plans to go into an area where I killed my first elk with him back in 2013. He's going down. So we worked up this big steep mountain up towards the bench and it seems like this bull is bugling and working away from us. Well, finally, we apparently got in his comfort zone and he decided he couldn't take it anymore. And he come marching in but he just never presented me the shot. It was a younger bull and it was through some really thick brush and I would have had to be able to place an arrow through a very small opening to get one to him. Well, I was a little bit disappointed I didn't get a shot at this bull, but we've got a lot of time left in the hunt and it was a really good first day. The second day of our hunt was really uneventful. So the third day, we're actually going back in where we started the hunt. We no sooner got to the top of this bench, but we got a bull fired up and he's coming. When I got my first glimpse of him, I knew it was a really good bull. But once again, the cover is just too thick. Yeah, he's a big bull. Big bull. Another good day, but no bull down. Well, it is hard to believe it, but it is the last day here in Elk Camp, up in the high country of Western Wyoming. We're going into an area that we hadn't hunted. It's a long, really difficult hike, probably a good 10 miles to drive before we start our hike. So. Fingers crossed, try to make some, put some blood on the mountain today and head for home. Right there, right there. Got me, right above us. Well, we no sooner got to this small bench on this steep ridge, Bill looked up and we've got an elk coming down right to us. All right, let's get up by this tree. It was a mad scramble to get my bow, but Bill and I got set up just as this spike bull steps out. I got a shot right there by the tree. Right there comes another one. I got another one. When that spike bull worked through, I could see more elk coming down the ridge. There he is, Bill. Coming left. When I saw that lighted knock bury behind the shoulder, I knew we had a bull down. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, we no sooner started on the track job and it was over. Right there. Cross the draw. That's him. Woo! There he is. I couldn't be more excited to be spending the whole week up here in the high country with Ted Jenkins, Jenkins Hunting Camps. He didn't go but 100 yards, piled up here on the hill, and couldn't be more excited. We got a lot of meat for the freezer and a lot of work to do yet today, so. The results are in. DeerCast said great. It doesn't exist anywhere else but in DeerCast. Hunters love DeerCast's exclusive deer movement forecast. Get out of your game with DeerCast. <laughs> We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of Bow Madness and all of our outdoor channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.